Hey Leo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading. This reading is for anyone with Leo placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Leo reading for whatever reason they're guided here. This reading could resonate now or later or at any other date. It is a weekly reading. All right, let's get into it. So we have the Three of Wands reversed, the Knight of Wands reversed, and the Knight of Cups reversed. Nothing moving forward. It's like everything just went to a standstill. What's the central issue here? Why is this happening? whoa because we need forward movement <laughs> the eight of wands okay this is your central issue because forward movement is needed here all right so let's find out what the hubbub is what's hold, being holding up all your forward movement here uh you need this forward yeah transformation okay this is excellent all right we'll talk about this in a minute this is like a transformation that's well needed yeah dumping the burdens excellent all right what else um Wow. All right, let's talk. Whew. This is really nice, actually. So what turned out as a reading of everything just stopping actually turned out to be a really nice reading. Um, what happened back here? Well, something came to an end. Okay, something came to a crashing halt. The Ten of Swords and the world. Boom. Stop. Stop the presses. Everything just froze, right? All right. Now, it could have had to do with something you found out someone was doing sneaky and shady. And it just, everything got stuck. All of a sudden, we find out something and we're not sure what to do. So we just stop everything. That's what this feels like. Well, the Wheel of Fortune is right here on the top of your deck. This is about to move forward again. Um, and remember, the, the whole gist of your reading is to have this forward movement, to get this wheel to turn. It's like something got exposed and then the brakes went on everything. Um, I'm not sure what it was or what happened here, but it, look at the Five of Swords. In this deck, It's this is a, actually really a nice Five of Swords, and I never say that about Five of Swords, but in this deck... It's the butterfly moth of transformation. Look at all the little fairies. Like there is a transformation happening here. Uh, this is a very positive card. It's something transforming and we need this transforming because if not, we stay with breaks on. Three of wands reverse, knight of wands reverse, knight of cups reverse. There could be two of you that are just stopped and froze. Um, I don't know what came out back here. Something was exposed. And someone just ended something done but now we have an opportunity to but even though we ended something why are we still frozen right um so we're gonna dump these burdens ten of wands or something about the ten of bur the ten of wands being dumped remember you have the ten of swords and you have the world and you have the wheel and you have the ten of wands this cycle could not be more done 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 <laughs> Plus, we're having the transformation come in, and it's the butterfly moth. This is a very positive thing. We do have the Hierophant and the Four of Wands, showing there could be a relationship coming in here. We also have the King of Cups here. So let's find out what this is. This is some kind of a commitment coming in. This is some kind of an offer coming in. Let's get some more information. I did shuffle these, but let's give them a couple quick shuffles. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good? Leo reading, what do we need to know? Leo reading, what's most important? What do we need to know about the Leo reading? Leo reading. Leo reading. What do we need to know? Leo reading. All right, let's look at the Three of Wands reversed. What do we need to know about the Leo reading? Three of Wands reversed. You know, I want to know about all of this. The Three of Wands reversed, the Knight of Wands reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed. Why are they all reversed? What do we need to know about this? It's like everything just stopped. Wow. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So we have, you know, 10 of swords. Somebody is just stopped because they, another 10, by the way, um, 10 of swords. This 10 of swords was the reason somebody just stopped and ended something. 
that ten of swords is whatever they found out here very emotional too so something was found out it caused a tower in someone's life there it is at the bottom of the deck in reverse it already happened this tower already happened and caused someone a lot of anguish the five of cups I, this already happened there's a transformation already happening because of this um so we're sitting in the ten of swords i mean i can clearly see you're sitting in the ten of swords here with the end maybe it's the end of the ten of swords that's coming in too there's an end of something happening right now as we speak the end transformation look at that five of swords again transformation happening here let's look at what the transformation is what is the five of swords doing here paraffin reverse this is leaving behind some kind of commitment not being committed to something anymore something that had to end tell me about the uh, ten of wands reversed dumping the burdens i'm done with whatever this is What is the Ten of Wands reverse? Just one or two. Ten of Wands in reverse, please. One or two. Yeah, two of cups. I'm sorry, lovers. In reverse. Making a decision to sever the ties, dumping the burdens, letting something go. Um, I definitely feel, but the reason this is happening, you know, someone could have found out about a third party. It's possible. We see that someone finds out about something. It's very emotional and they end it. Ten of Swords, world. The end of something, not moving forward. We end the partnership, done. I mean, everywhere I look, it's the partnership is done. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why Eight of Wands, please? Yeah, there it is. So, new beginning. The uh, Ace of Cups. It's here. It's just on hold. As soon as things start moving forward again in your life, you're going to get this Ace of Cups. Right now, you're still recovering from something that ended abruptly. I feel like this ended abruptly. This wheel's going to turn, though. It's just on hold, right? Because you're in the middle of... It's like you just found something out. And you're still... You're under a lot of stress here. You truly are. Ten of Swords twice. This is no fun at all. This new beginning's coming. It's going to come in with information, forward movement. This forward movement is really necessary from all this stop and block. The reason you're stopped and not budging is because of this Ten of Swords. We asked why, and that's why this Ten of Swords caused everything to just stop. And it has something to do with something being exposed that someone was doing. Yeah, it's like there's clarity coming in. The Seven of Cups at the bottom here in reverse. This clarity is what's going to help you achieve this new beginning. All right, tell me about this. Um, this new beginning's on hold until everything starts moving forward in your life again. But first, in the meantime, you're going through some kind of ending, some kind of contract. Now, when I say contract, it's a relationship. It's some kind of a relationship between you and another person, some kind of partnership between you and another person. There's something happening. There's a transformation happening for you in this situation after finding out something really painful. All right. Tell me about the King of Cups here. What do we need to know? King of Cups, Leo reading. Why is King of Cups here? Okay, we've got the nine of wands and the eight of cups. So where we were stuck before, we couldn't budge. Okay, the wheel's finally going to turn and now we are going to budge. But what it what we're budging on is we're protecting ourselves by leaving something behind. We're walking away from something for protection. This is for your own protection. 
So I feel as though, you know, this King of Cups energy is your own energy. You're leaving something behind. This, again, could be a work situation with the Three of Pentacles, or it could be a third party because I see it back here um, as well. And it's the thing we started the reading with, right? When we felt so betrayed and hurt and ended something. It's either something to do with something to do with work or business, or it, it really looks like a relationship to me, though. But if it's a contract... It could be some kind of a partnership. Whatever it is, this thing needed to come to a close because you found out something that someone was doing that was sneaky and shady and you're protecting yourself by ending it. Now, for most of you, it's probably a relationship, a, a intimate relationship. Um, tell me about the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. four of wands reversed absolutely i feel as though this relationship got turned upside down by something that happened i do believe somebody did something five of swords is here it's reversed this is definitely transforming um, a situation you're not going to put any more work or effort into this whether it's business or uh or a uh contract or whether it's a personal relationship you're you're done with this done it couldn't be more done like i said i don't know what happened and i'm so sorry this is coming out for you guys leo but this is or leo cross watchers or whoever this thing got turned upside down because somebody did something and messed it up really and then it got exposed you found out about it and you did the right thing for yourself you protected yourself and you ended it done 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 nines and tens everywhere tens are everywhere in this reading um wheel of fortune the world the new beginnings already trying to come in this is about to come in for you as soon as you complete this protection leave something behind move away from it and get back on with your life dumping these burdens and getting out of you're still under a lot of stress as soon as you're done with this your new beginning comes in and that's what this whole reading was about really you already know what you've been through but spirit wants you to know that when things start moving forward again you're going to get a new beginning and it's going to be beautiful it's going to be happy it's going to be joyous you're going to be moving forward in your life again where you've been stuck and unable to move forward it's just that you're going through a transformation right now and it's going to take some time Anyway, guys, I'm so sorry. I wanted this to be beautiful for you guys, but, it, you know, it is what it is. Somebody needed to hear it, and the main reason this came through, like I said, is Spirit wants someone to know that your burdens are going to come off your back, and once they do, your new beginning is going to come in. We got to get you out of this stress and, you know, out of your head about it. This has been, it's left you stressed in your head wondering why you had to go through this what happened angels what do we need to know here about this situation can i get one more yeah depth okay so well you have to go dig deep spirit says dig deep on this one present spirit's got your back and time for a break relaxation yeah out of the head take a break take a break from the stress. I feel like no matter how we look at this, it's still going to be something that you're going to remember whatever got done here because it was exposed and then you got like, um, this was emotional and spirit says, look, death of old birth of new is absolutely at your fingertips right now. But letting go of that pain has been, this is you stuck in the pain of whatever the sneaky shady stuff was the person did. And spirit says, if you can release that you get a brand new beginning um and really if that's what this is it's you releasing something painful that's the transformation needed here for you to have this new beginning it'll come in very quickly as soon as you're able to you know maybe dig deep and figure out what it is that's holding you to this pain um spirit says once you figure that out we'll, we'll be there for you um you can take a break from this men i feel like you need a mental break from this and that's when the beauty comes in after the mental break and the new beginning is allowed to come in for you when you were able to turn this ten of swords upside down because your ten of swords is in the right side up and spirit says look there's a lot of wisdom to be gained here and a lot of growth that can happen in the situation um 
And there always is. Our hardest times are when we learn the most. Most of our lessons come from the most difficult times we've survived. Anyway, guys, so sorry. Good luck, you guys. I hope that this I hope this doesn't resonate with anybody. Um, please do watch your other signs. Don't forget your mid-month love check-ins came out. Your weekly, no, your weekend reading just came out. Um, there might be a Monday reading out already for you by the time you're seeing there. Yes, there will be. There will be a Monday reading out as well for you. Um, because I think I'm sending that out early. So you could get ready for your work week. Anyway, I, I think it was a love reading. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Anyway, but it, it was a good reading. Anyway, good luck, guys. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.